you know what every beginner does in moho they rig arms the wrong way and that's why characters end up looking stiff and broken but here's the cool part there's a stupidly simple pin bone trick that fixes all of that and makes rigging way easier stick around because once you see this you will never rig the old way again in this video i will walk you through how to rig arms and legs in moho using pin bones the method that keeps your artwork clean while giving you natural flexible movement you will see exactly how to place pin bones step by step how they let you scale joints for perspective without distortion and how they make posing smoother and easier even if you are just starting out but here's something you might be wondering if pin bones can fix stiff arms and make rigging easier why doesn't everyone use them most beginners treat them like regular bones get weird results and give up before seeing their real power so before we jump into the step by step process let's clear up what a pin bone actually is because if you have only used regular bones this feels very different think of pin bones as invisible joints you can drop anywhere in your character's body unlike regular bones they don't have length so they don't twist or stretch your artwork each one is just a control point a little circle with a cross hair that turns any spot into a movable rotatable even scalable joint let's look at this arm it is in two layers arm and the hand i have used point binding for the bones in the arm so when i bend the arm there is a distortion so if point binding is this messy how are animators actually fixing this problem well moho does have a little trick one that feels almost too simple and once you see it you will wonder why you ever struggled with the old way let me show you this is the arm layer and this is the hand layer now we will use pin bones on the arm i have added three pin bones now i will add angle bones now i will add bones in the middle i'll do the same for the lower part of the arm
for this method we don't need bone strength and change bone strength to zero now we need to check the parenting of the bones this bone needs to be parented to this bone and the pin bone needs to be parented to the angle bone I'll select the pin bone and click on the bone I will do the same for the other two pin bones now I'll select the arm layer Select bind points and click on bind points. Now I will select the lower bone For the hand I am using bind layer Now let's check the arm. I'll go to frame 1, select transform bone, so when I bend the arm it's distorted. The reason for that is these two bones need to point towards each other and the same is for these two bones so let's fix this I will select the first bone uh, this bone is called B7 and this bone is called B8 so I want B7 to point to always point to B8 and B8 should always point to B7 so while B7 is selected I'll click on bone constraints under target I'll select B8 now B7 will always point towards B8 now I'll select B8 press letter P hold the control key and click on B7 now if I go to bone constraints under target I can see that B7 is the target so this is the quicker way so I'll repeat this process for these two bones B9 and B10 now I'll select the four bones
and hide them. Now let's test the arm. I'll move to frame 1. Select transform bone. So with pin bones we can adjust the length of the arm as required and the rotation is also smooth there is no distortion I have this rig and I have already applied pin bones to it let me show you how this rig works Of course, none of this matters if you are still making the classic mistakes that frustrate every beginner in Moho. The ones that make animation feel slow and painful. In the next video, I will show you the three mistakes that ruin your animation speed and exactly how to avoid them.